Hey guys, how's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is April 4, 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Alright guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And just looking at this one here guys, there's been a lot of phone calls today. A lot of phone calls. So there was a worldwide embassy phone call. They were telling uh, those those that work for the gov, like the embassies, the people there, to uh, to get ready, to prep, to be aware that there's a possibility Persia could strike, and they were put on heightened alert. Today, you have the sleeping giant leader, and again, Mr. Benjamin on the phone, and some very important um, telephone conference between these two. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, one thing I tell you in this letter here, it's been confirmed. The sleeping giant has told Persia, Iran, has told the world that they will back the Holy Land. They will defend the Holy Land. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. There's been a lot of information. This phone call is very important. We're going to talk about this. Uh, also, guys, we do have more information. Ben is putting out his message. He's telling Persia, again, your warnings, your equipment, uh, again, it does not uh, put fear in us. So, once again, guys, uh, there's a lot of information coming out. I just post this video. This link will be in the comments box. You have the Holy Land has begun evacuating embassies around the world. All right, because of Persia um, putting out their message of imminent strike. This is reported by the voice of Holy Land. Earlier, the leader of Persia, Iran, threatened ISR with a retaliatory strikes, publishing the following message on his social network. This is what the leader of Persia said. With God's help, we will make the Holy Land group repent of their lawlessness of aggression against the Persian consulate in the mask, he wrote. All right, so once again, that was a very important message by the leader of Persia. And you guys already know I post this video. This link will also be in the comments box. Uh, there's been a lot of information that Persia, again, Iran, to use long range. Very, very, very powerful stuff. Long range that could reach 2,000 kilometers. There's been a lot more information that, uh, once again, Persia continued to cross the border from these two countries, Iraq and Syria, carrying various types of equipment. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Once again, uh, you have uh, a lot of people just, uh, they know what time it is. They know that uh, they have to get to a safe place. So many of them are fleeing. They start at 3 a.m., all right? So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. This is a very important conference, well, a call between these two leaders. Very important. It just came out not too long ago. All right. So before I start with all this, I want to, um, you know, just give a lot of people a little update about my channel. And uh, I know there's been some people saying, Louis, you know, I kind of like your videos, but it's just the cold words. I can understand, guys. And, uh, you know, the views went down because a lot of people just don't like the code words. But the reason why I use it, uh, again, for those of you that don't know, uh, I've been suspended more than 12 times. Uh, and for some reason, uh, you know, when you speak, like, again, when it comes to the gospel or when you try to uh, lead people to the righteous path and talk about the things of the world that lines up with scriptures. Again, you guys already know my channel is all about that. And for that uh, reason, sometimes the platform, they see that, I get an email. So it is a battle going on here between good and evil. And I'm trying my very best to put out the information using code words, uh, again, metaphor. You know, and I'm not the only one. There's been a lot of watchmen and watchwomen that's been using code words. And, um, you know, other people are not getting hit. But eventually, I do believe it's going to catch up to them. Now, I've seen a lot of good ones out i mean they just the platform took him out from this platform again we talking about like uh again richie from boston uh john x army and uh again uh something you know happened to dabu 77 
Uh, again, James Munder. Rest in peace with James Munder. You guys already know James Munder. He was like one of them. Um, so it was his uh, anniversary too this year of passing away in uh, March. Uh, rest in peace to James Munder. But uh, yeah, so we try to be very careful when it comes to making videos. So this is why we tell people follow us on Patreon. It's only $1 a month. I don't use no code words. Uh, and in that platform, I say whatever I want to say. I could use these names. But for some reason, this platform is a whole different ball game. I got hit many times. Many times. And it really hurt me really bad. Really bad. So I had to find another way to kind of, uh, you know, deal with this issue. And cold words has helped me a lot. Metaphor. So I guess, you know, we sometimes we have to use metaphor. Uh, in order to uh, avoid getting hit. So I truly apologize, guys. This is why I'm showing all this so you guys could follow me with it. Okay, so I truly apologize. But uh, hopefully you guys understand. Uh, it says here, let's go with this story. Uh, breaking, you have the Sleeping Giant readout of the Sleeping Giant leader and the Holy Land PM, Mr. Ben, morning phone call. All right, there's been a lot of phone calls going on here. So it says includes some of the harshest words to date from the administration calling for an immediate cease F I R E in the strip and saying that the overall humanitarian situation is unacceptable. All right, so again the leader of this sleeping giant, he's not pleased. He's not pleased with Ben. He's telling Ben, hey Ben, what are you doing, man? Man, you got I mean you struck this region with innocent ones in him. I mean, he did apologize for that one. The ID, you know what? The Holy Land military, they say they regret doing uh, they regret doing that. But, uh, yeah, there's been some stuff that Ben is not, you know, he's just doing stuff. And, you know, it's just innocence being impacted. So the Sleeping Giant said, Policy with respect to the Strip will be determined by our assessment. Uh, uh, of the IES, excuse me, the ISR, immediate action on these steps. On a serious warning of strike from Persia, the leader of the Sleeping Giant told Ben that the Sleeping Giant strongly supports ISR in the face of those threats. So basically, the Sleeping Giant is letting Persia know we will back the Holy Land. Remember, Persia told Sleeping Giant, they sent a message. Iran sent a message to the Sleeping Giant telling them, do not get involved. We will do this operation. Do not get involved. Today, the Sleeping Giants sent a letter. We will back the Holy Land. All right. Information came out today, April 4th, 2024. The readout of the Sleeping Giant leader call with Ben. It says here, the Sleeping Giant leader spoke by telephone with Ben. The two leaders discussed the situation in the strip. Once again, the leader of the Sleeping Giant emphasized that the strike on humanitarian workers and the overall humanitarian situation are unacceptable. He made clear the need for ISR to announce and implement a series of specific, concrete, and miserable steps to address innocent harm, humanitarian suffering, and the safety of aid workers. He made clear that the Sleeping Giant policy with respect to the Strip will be determined by our, give me a second here, our assessment of ISR immediate action on these steps. He underscored that an immediate cease FIRE is essential to stabilize and improve the humanitarian situation and protect innocent. Now it says here he urged Mr. Benjamin to empower his negotiators to conclude a deal without delay to bring the innocent home. The two leaders also discussed public Persia. This is very important here. Persia warning against ISR and the ISR people. Now the sleeping giant leader made clear that the sleeping giant strongly supports 
ISR in the face of those threats. Once again, they sent a message to Persia. We back Holy Land. All right. So we're going to go with this one here, guys. Give me a second. Uh, what is this? If we don't see changes from their size, there will there will have to be changes in our side. This is coming out from John, very important person here, on the Sleeping Giant support for ISR going forward. Once again, John says that the Sleeping Giant leader is giving ISR hours and days to make significant change. Ooh. Okay, so this is something very important here. We're going to get to this one here. So once again, John, a uh, very important person for the 46th administration, uh, he, he says that the Sleeping Giant leader, Joe, is giving the Holy Land hours and days to make significant changes. Um, okay, so so uh, you guys already know that the, uh, the leader drew a red line and told Ben, hey, I draw, uh, you know, I draw a red line. Don't go into that city of Afar. Then Ben drew, uh, drew his red line. Like, I drew my red line, and my red line is bigger than your red line. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I tell you, uh, ISR, they don't like when other lands give them order. <laughs> so... Ben is probably looking at that and saying, you know what? I'm really, really, really fed up with you, uh, Mr. Byrne. You're telling me I need Jesus, which we all need Jesus. Ben is saying, you tell him, again, you gave me a red line, and now you're telling me that I have hours and days to make significant changes? That's, uh, again, that's not looking good there, guys. Uh, I, I don't know what Ben's reaction is, but, uh, again, that phone call, we're going to see what's going on with that phone call. All right, so it says here you have ISR, Benjamin, on Persia, blustering warnings. Now, this is what he said. This is what Ben said. For years, Persia has been working against us, both directly and through its proxies. And therefore, ISR has been working against Persia and its proxy, both defensively and offensively. We know how to defend ourselves, and we will act according to the simple principle that whoever hurts us or plans to hurt us, we will hurt them. So basically, uh, sleeping giants, that message of you have hours and days to make significant changes, Ben just said, it ain't going to change. Whoever hurts us, we're going to hurt them. So... Yeah, Ben is putting his foot down. Ben is putting his foot down. Give me a second here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we have the phone call here. We have the very important phone call. Here we go. Okay, so this is the phone call, right? So we have all the information here. The Sleeping Giant leader told Ben in a phone call on Thursday that the Sleeping Giant policy on the Biblical War in the Strip will be determined by whether ISR takes a series of specific, concrete, and miserable steps to address the in, uh, those civilians and others, the Sleeping Giant said. The phone call came after seven, again, workers with the, I'm going to skip that name there, guys. Again, I truly apologize. Uh, were taken out in the ISR strike. Once again, the Sleeping Giant leader said that the strike and the situation in the Strip were unacceptable. 
and urge Ben to conclude uh, when it comes to the innocence that's being held. Talks so that uh, an immediate cease FIRE can be put in place and more aid distributed in the region. I see, again, the way I see this, I see Ben is doing this out of uh, anger and frustration. Because what H-A-M-A-S has done, so he has this this vengeance of uh, fire in him. But uh, again, there are innocents that hasn't done anything and they are being out, taken out. So um, this is something that Ben kind of needs to... Uh, you know, kind of a sit for a moment and think about things here. There are innocent ones that were impacted. And that's what the Sleeping Giant is saying, man. Hey, you're going really, really deep on this one here. You have some kind of, uh, you know, wrath uh, in you. Um, but uh, again, so this phone call, it's very important. It determines the relationship between the Sleeping Giant and ISR. He made clear the need for ISR to announce and implement a series of specific concrete and miserable steps to address innocence. I, I'm just going to skip that. He made clear that the sleeping giant policy with respect to the strip will be determined by our assessment of ISR immediate action on, this, on these steps. He underscored that an immediate cease FIRE is essential to stabilize and improve the humanitarian situation and protect innocent. And he urged Mr. Benjamin to empower his negotiator to conclude a deal without delay to bring the innocent home. John, a spokesman for the National Security, told reporters that the sleeping giant hopes to see a dramatic increase in aid getting into the strip and a reduction in the lawlessness against civilians and certainly workers. John said that the sleeping giant wanted to see concrete, tangible steps in the coming hours and days, but declined comment on what the consequences would be if those action fell to materialize. <whistles> so if ISR refused or, again, it's been too defiant. They don't listen to Mr. Burns' order, so they're too defiant. But if if they don't listen to this message, the sleeping giant is going to punish them. And I do believe possibly uh, sanctions. Who knows? Uh, it says here, what we want to see are some real changes on the ISR side. And if we don't see changes from their side, there will have to be changes from our side. What's that supposed to mean? Can the sleeping giant walk away? Will the sleeping giant walk away? That's the big question here. Sorry guys, give me a second. Hours and days. Another phone call. Ben, you have hours and days to make significant changes. Or, from there, we don't know. Mm. We're going to find out sooner or later. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, very important update here between the Sleeping Giant and the Holy Land. Uh, they're putting out some very important information here. Um... Yeah, with all this stuff going on, guys, uh, I think it's very important that everybody start preparing spiritually, physically, and mentally. All this preparation, all these evacuation, even people are fleeing from uh, from the regions and saying you know, 3 a.m. they're going somewhere else. I do believe something big is coming. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, like I said, I truly apologize about the cold words, the cold words. But uh, again, in order to uh, avoid getting hit, I have to use cold words. For some reason, I don't know why they like coming after me. But uh, since 2016, 
yeah i've seen a lot of it anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.